This video demonstrates a technique to improve visualization of rotator cuff tears from a lateral viewing perspective. In this left shoulder in the beach chair position, viewed from a posterior portal, we can see a rotator cuff tear, the supraspinatus, but there are significant limitations in how much we can appreciate from the posterior portal. This 50 yard line view or lateral viewing perspective is much better because it shows us the tuberosity, the biceps, the undersurface of the cuff, the supercapsule and lamination. One of the limitations of viewing from a lateral viewing perspective though, is the lateral fascia. And in this separate example, left shoulder beach chair position is viewed posteriorly. Uh, we can see here uh, that if we move to that lateral viewing perspective, the, as we back the camera up to improve and broaden our view, this fascia limits our ability to do so. The technique that we want to demonstrate here is simply a limited fasciectomy as shown here while we're again viewing from the posterior perspective, uh, allows us to back the camera up slightly further, a centimeter or so typically. And we can see here as I simulate our ability to back the camera up with the shaver blade, that small amount of additional backing up of the camera improves the visualization greatly as shown here above. Now compare that with the video below, which is the same video we showed earlier as we try to back the camera up to broaden our perspective. There are significant limitations imposed by the fascia.